Hey everyone, NVIDIA has finally released our very first taste of RTX Remix ahead of the actual tools launching, and I'm here to give you an idea of what performance you should expect when compared to both modern ray traced games and ray traced upgrades for older games. The cards I'll be testing on are the RX 6600 XT and the lower end RTX 3050 that I have on my laptop. Starting with Metro Exodus, we see the 6600 XT will obviously outperform the 3050 by quite a lot, with more than double the average frame rate. Then I ran a couple benchmarks. I ran Port Royal on 3D Mark, random benchmark I found and ran a while ago, and then the Bright Memory Infinite Ray Tracing benchmark. All of the numbers are on screen. As you can see, the 4GB of VRAM caused some issues for the 3050 in Port Royal, but for the rest of them, it performed all right. Moving on to some tests a bit closer to Portal, I have some ray traced upgrades of other games. I've tested Minecraft with RTX, Quake 2 RTX, Doom, Quake and Serious Sam. There's a bit of an interesting pattern here that shows up, which is both systems will run at an average of about 30 FPS. I believe the reason there is that all of these are fully path traced, so there's no corners cut, no fancy tricks. All of the rendering is done by the ray tracing component of the graphics card, which is just straight up more powerful on the Nvidia side, so it gets pretty similar performance to a higher end AMD card. Now, Portal RTX is really impressive especially knowing how it was made, because it looks like a game that could have come out today or, you know, better than a lot of these custom-made ray tracing upgrades for older games. But it's not playable. The performance of this game is just completely unacceptable. In the other tests where I'm getting, like, 30 FPS, that's at 1080p without upscaling. And that's fine, you know, you put FSR, DLSS, whatever, and you're looking at probably 60 to 70 FPS totally playable. But even after turning down the resolution as far as it'll let me, the frame rate is still just horrible. My average frame rate at 540p, so half render resolution, was 2 frames per second on my 6600 XT. That is just unheard of. A while ago I was trying to get an achievement on 3D Mark, and the achievement was to get an average of under 5 FPS in a benchmark and the integrated graphics were too fast. They got like 8 FPS. And this game, on a relatively high-end GPU, it's like from the latest generation, as of this video's release, the 7000 series is about to come off. But getting 2 FPS is just completely unreasonable. And when I run it on my 3050, the otherwise much less powerful card, or on par in heavier ray tracing, it's getting like 8 to 10 FPS at full 1080p. And when you just use DLSS on like ultra performance you'll get still like 50 fps it's not great but that's much more playable because like even on my 6600 xt turning the resolution down to 240p and turning down like all the ray tracing disabling the enhanced textures that they've added so the game looks horrible but you still only get like 12 to 18 fps it's completely ridiculous and it's not just an issue with my system if you look at other benchmarks online you can see that the 6950 XT at 1080p gets an average of 3 to 4 FPS, and that is a powerful card, and it's getting less than half of a 2060 Super, which should be roughly the equivalent of my graphics card, at least in rasterization. Now, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist and say that NVIDIA is like intentionally sabotaging AMD, but... I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> RTX Remix uses Vulkan. It's using a uh, extension that both platforms support. Uh, we know that AMD cards can run fully ray traced games at decent playable frame rates. And I think that just the notion that it's just because AMD is too far behind is just, I don't, I don't think that holds up. There's gotta be something else going on here. I don't know if Nvidia just screwed something up Maybe they just didn't put enough time into optimizing it well in general, or specifically for AMD, but uh, <laughs> I hope all these issues can be fixed before the actual tools are released, because I think that the possibilities that they'll open up should be accessible to anyone with like decent hardware, not just people with top-of-the-line stuff. Like, It's just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for this video. If, if you liked it for some reason, you could subscribe, leave a like. I don't know. I don't normally ask for that. <laughs> and I'll see you later.